Freak Speak! And we're back with another episode of Let the Freak Speak. Taking the counterculture to new lows. Everyone's least favorite uh, podcast. All right. <laughs> Winging it harder than ever. All right. <laughs> you can't always do it right because you have to wing it harder than ever. Yeah. If was, Morons fuck, of absurdity. That's a good point. Masters of obscurity. Getting, I'm getting Nicholas it. Valenzuela. I'm Nathaniel Lopez. Thank you. Uh, here we are. <laughs> thanks, another, for, thanks for tuning in. Another month down. Another another episode. End of July. What are we going to do for this episode? You got any new talents? Well, this is episode 96. Any new talents? 96? 96. <laughs> the year we were born. Mm. Birth episode. Birth episode. We were born this episode. 96. We're like a phoenix. Sweet. The year of the rat. Well. How do you feel... Knowing that we were born the year of the rat in the Chinese zodiac calendar. Apparently, it's not a bad thing. Apparently, it's I'm a water rat. You're a water rat. Yeah. What does the water have to do? Does that have to Apparently, do with like the there's month? A, it's a there, it, element also goes along with animal. So, is it the whole year that is the water rat, or no, is no, it, no, is no. it like a, your month? It's like the month. Okay. Yeah. What are, do you know? The no, 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 no. I just remember that's what. Damn, yeah, that sounds know. way cooler than being like I'm a Pisces. <laughs> <laughs> what are you? I'm a Taurus. Huh? I know a Taurus. You? Oh, I'm active friends with a Taurus. Now I look. Now I'm gonna look at you completely different. No, all you're these, not. All these, no, all you're not. The, what are you? All these what years. Are you? All these years of friendship. What are you? And now I have to look at you a different way. What, what are you, you? You ruined our friendship by what telling are you? me you're a Taurus. What are you? Huh? I'm a Pisces. You're a Pisces. Yeah. You're totally acting like one right now. That's look at you. Me. Look at you. I've built my whole personality so around my zodiac. And you're a rat. So I know you more than actually I know you as a Pisces. You, you know me more as a rat. I ain't ratting on no one. <laughs> Hey, Tony, I ain't ratting on no one. I think you'd rat. You think I'd rat? Yeah. You think I'm no. Timi- you think I'm okay, Timothy Okay, okay. If you had no wife and no kids, you, you wouldn't rat. If you had wife and kids, you might rat. But if they died under circumstances what, of my kids? all of them, oh. you wouldn't rat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you would. You would I, there's, there's circumstances for you, right? <laughs> I think the only thing that would make you rat is really wife and kids. If my wife and kids yeah, but got even, murdered, or or no, if they were still alive, if they were still alive, if I had, if, if I had something they got, to lose, but even if they got murdered, you wouldn't, you wouldn't rent. Yeah, I think for you, the whole I, for the whole organization, you wouldn't rent. I think you'd be selling out fucking casinos, telling people the stories that you told the cops, <laughs> <laughs> and this is what I told the cops <laughs> to get out of jail. <laughs> You'd make it your whole stand-up bit. No, I wouldn't. I would no, rat. you'd go into witness protection po- program because you're a rat. Uh-huh. But then your your identity as a witness protection program is a comedian, and you tell the whole story of of how you're basically Burt Kreischer, no. but with with more uh, more to lose. So, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like like you take your shirt off, you pull your dick out. <laughs> and Am then, I great? <laughs> you're becoming one of Joe Rogan's newest friends. <laughs> They even let you. So sit I only in. have you, one good story. They even let you sit in for one episode of Protect Our Parks. I only have one good episode. One good story. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that, that story is gonna get you killed because you're literally talking about how you got into uh, the witness protection know, program. You know what would make me rat? What? Limbs off. It, yeah, yeah. Torture. <laughs> yeah, torture. You're torture. saying you only rat if you're getting tortured. No, no, no. If they like let what me live they? after the torture, they're like, we're gonna take an arm. And then, like, we'll I was like, back. I was just like, okay, I get to live, but they're going to take my arm or my leg. But after this, <laughs> I'm going to go rat. So they're telling you, they're like, all we're going to do is take off your <laughs> arm unless you tell us. And then you are you, are you saying that you're going to let them take off your arm? And then after they take off your arm, you're going to be like, it was these motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be the only thing. You don't think they're going to come after you again huh? for your other arm, do you? You? Yeah, they're <laughs> of course they are. Yeah. You just ratted on I them. I think they're coming from my it's head. Like we thought we taught you a lesson. <laughs> yeah. We took off your arm. You think lessons can be taught nowadays like that? No, through brutality, yeah, and no. torture. Yeah, there's no kings. There's no warlords that can't get away now. I mean, like you can't just like under the laws. We do that, but we don't do that in America. Like, like but like, <laughs> could you get away with that? Like doing it, you'd be like, oh, it was them. But like, how are the cops even going to prove that? Even if you say it, uh, like, where's the arm still? You know, it's gone. Like, it's in the bottom of the fucking Hudson. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Yeah, I'll tell you that much. So officer. now you got this story. How are you going to prove it? I'm missing an arm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, I guess, how do you prove it? Well, here's the thing. In today's society, there's yeah. cameras everywhere, bro. Yeah. You could just be like, oh, I just got to go to the corner of this place and they can. It's all on a Target fucking outside. <laughs> yeah. It's on a, yeah, it happened at the Target on, right yeah, over by Michael's. It's on a fold out table <laughs> with a butcher's knife. It's Yeah, they got the fucking the knife from Target. <laughs> they got me at a Target. I got their receipt. They dropped it on the ground as they left. You know how they're uh, in mob shows, they're always shooting them in like a parking lot? Yeah, yeah, they they chopped off my arm in a target. <laughs> they drive. The you're, you're like, no, <laughs> this is what happens. You're you're walking to your car with the bag of groceries, uh-huh. and they just drive by and fucking hack your arm off and <laughs> yeah. don't stop. Yeah. They, they keep going. <laughs> it's like I got the license plate. They go to a chop shop. The, <laughs> the, car, the, li- the cars are <laughs> yeah, the cars oh, already the, been fucking chopped up. All there is is a license up. plate. That's all you have. That's all you have to go off of. So you keep it. <laughs> the license plate didn't fall off. You fucking remembered the license plate. And you make plate. them into ninja stars so you can like one day kill the people who took your arm. I killed them with their own license plate. <laughs> My vengeance. <laughs> you kill yourself. You imagine killing a couple people with some ninja stars. Doable by you? <laughs> Could I do it? Could you do it? Imagine your uh imagine OJ Simpson. Okay. But with Instead of a knife, ninja star. <laughs> ninja star. Dude, that's so. That's brutal. It's <laughs> fucking. Brutal. And, and I'm and like, it's not even. Nah, we, it's not even that he's like, you know, just using it to cut it. It's yeah. like he's standing on top, foot on the head, just bat winging, just, 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 just chucking it, just chucking it down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just trying to. He's missing sometimes. He's hitting the floor. <laughs> he's hitting like the, the fucking temple. Yeah. He's just trying to. How many? How many throws to the head? I would say like until it comes 10. off. No, until dead. Uh, ten. Oh, I'm 10. I'm t- I'm talking about him trying to hack off her head. Oh, with, just by throwing. With the throwing Damn. Stuff, by throwing it, just like by the by the juice. Sixty. Yeah. Sixty throws. Sixty throws. A hard seventy-five, if anything. Seventy-five throws yeah. to get to the center of yeah. your ex-wife. <laughs> oh my god, Mister <laughs> Owl. Damn, that's brutal. Can I commit murder? <laughs> <laughs> oh, these Tootsie Pop commercials are getting crazy. Yeah, back to OJ, man. He's gonna be on us. He's I should get that book out of here. <laughs> Outrage. Outrageously funny. <laughs> this book's outrageous. It has a TV show uh adaptation. No, it has a TV show um no T V guide review on it. A TV guide is, is it called TV guide or is it called TV show? T V guide. Is it T V guide? A magazine, the magazine, yeah, TV the old, guy? the old magazine. TV that, guy? that used to be a TV. It just, yeah. it just used to be called. It, it wasn't called TV Guide. It yeah. was a TV. Guide. Yeah, but it had, yeah, it com- had, it it had um, advertisements in it. Shit. What were they for? Like products. Yeah, yeah, and like other like. You How know. do you think they were making them? Yeah, like they, they had. They weren't solely. Getting, it, was, it was like partly like a like a. I, it? I don't even think they were charging people. I think they were giving that out as just like personal information. Like, hey, like, watch our shows. Like, didn't it have shopping catalogs in it. No, like, there's probably like there was like the Sears catalog, dude. Remember how like popular magazine like mail ordering was whenever mm-hmm. we were kids? Yeah, yeah. Like I remember getting like CCS magazines, and that was just like this. That was a skateboard catalog. Yeah. And like, what the fuck? Well, you could just subscribe to like online channels now. Well, yeah, but that, honestly, dude, the some of those magazines and catalog like, get like Game Informer. Game Informer was nice. Yeah. I like, like Game that's the thing. It's like magazines used to like they used to be more important. Now it's more just like luxury reading and mm-hmm. stuff. You know, back in the day, those like served a purpose for the most part. Like, you know, that's how we got our information. There's no magazine you subscribe to now. No, <coughs> the last magazine subscription I got was Rolling Stones back in 2017 because I joined. Uh, I had I. Started in FYE, mm-hmm. you know, FYE, that store, like, for your entertainment. Yeah. yeah. A place that overcharges for fucking stuff. Um, I was I was doing a membership with them, and it was like, oh, you get, like, subscribed to Rolling Stone. So I got, like, a year's worth of Rolling Stone magazines, which okay. is cool because, you know, I got, some cool, I got some cool issues. They had really good issues. Yeah, I have an issue with Josh Homme on the front. Um, 
It was whenever Villains was coming out. So I have an article about Villains. Their 100... Um, Queens of Stone is your shirt. Their 100 review of uh, the best um, guitarists. Oh, that's a Jimi good... Jimi Hendrix and Tom Morello did the the entry for him. Nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Who was number one, though? Was it Jimi Hendrix. It was Jimi Hendrix. And then uh, number it, two... Was it Eric Clapton? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Makes sense. Yeah. We're but, s- like, they were all, like... Apparently it, they, 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 it's like all like the same era. Apparently almost. everyone was just like, yeah, Jimmy. And like even when they were doing it, like the way they talk about it, it seemed like everyone was Sweet just under. Jimmy. Like mm-hmm. <laughs> maybe it should have been Eric Clapton. Yeah. Paul McCartney and G- John Lennon were in there too. Mm. So like when they were like, I, I, but like they had a lot of um, Southern blues. Yeah. Yeah. And shit like, like that too. <clears throat> and some women. I mean, Adam Jones, Adam Jones was on it. Kurt Cobain was in it. Really? Mm-hmm. Where was he? Like he was really 100? good. hundred. He was really good. A lot of people disagree. But he was good in the way that like his riffs were good. They you know? were, they were. Catchy. Like you, you, yeah, you don't hear him anywhere else. Yeah. Yeah. Except for Nirvana songs. Mm-hmm, except for Nirvana songs. And then Foo Fighters. Because Dave Grohl was like, "You taught me so much, Kurt." Really? I don't know. No. Wasn't he like their fourth? Drummer, Ooh. Dave Grohl. I don't know. I don't I'm care pretty that sure much they about Nirvana. Really? I don't. You do look like it, though. I look like I, I'm into Nirvana. You, yeah. It's crazy. It's the hair. Yeah. And Kurt the Co- mustache. Yeah, yep, Kurt Cobain was all about it. <laughs> Fucking look like I wish I was Mateo Lane. It's neither the comedian? Nor yeah. Mm. Really? I You'd want to look like him? Like a skinny twink? Well, like a fit twink. Well, he's Mexican, right? I don't. I think he's part Mexican. Yeah, he's part Mexican, or know. is he one I of like those? Him. I like him. One of those other ones, you know, that we're not supposed to talk about. Latino. Shh. There's only Mexicans. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Salvadorians. <laughs> really? No. Oh my god. Imagine that. Imagine our big Salvadorian audience is all pissed off now. They're like, "Don't ever come to Salvador." Don't ever come to Salvador. <laughs> If I can blow your knees off. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> we'll blow you. Then we'll blow your knees off. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't even know if that's how Salvadorians sound. <clears throat> uh, what about I tell you about my uh, camping Salvador. trip? Finding Salvador. about my camping trip? Let's hear it. Okay. I went to La Jolla. La Jolla. Camping grounds. Six hours away from here at the reservation. Wait, six hours away from <clears throat> Tucson? Tucson. Okay. At a reservation, the La Jolla reservation. Okay. Really good. It mm. was a good time. Hot. Didn't rain once. Humid? No. That's good. Dry heat. That's good. The The water wasn't going a lot. Apparently, they didn't open the dam for the... The river to be... Or the, the lake. For it to be, like, more filled up. Yeah. So, that was kind of shitty. So, no one got to tube. But, like, there was still water. Yeah. So, it was just, like, cool to relax near there. Had plenty of food. Dinners were great. Yeah. My cousins say they listen to this. So Danielle how, how and many Tanya. Ti- how many times? Danielle and Tanya say they listen to this. Danielle and Tanya? Tanya. To say Danielle and Tanya. Do they talk about like, that guy you do this podcast with no, is so I damn was, handsome. I was hoping they would mention something like that, but they didn't. They yeah. just said, oh, we watch it sometimes, and they didn't elaborate. Ah, so they've so, seen our clips. So if they see this, They've maybe. seen our clips. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. One of one of the, <laughs> one of my coworkers was talking about. He's like, yeah, 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 he's yeah. like, dude, your podcast was killing me the other day. I was yeah. like, oh yeah. He's like, yeah. Whenever you guys were talking about hot dogs, and I was like, you mean the clip I posted? <laughs> you mean the clip I posted on the on our story? See, your clips are getting better, or maybe we're just getting better. I think we're getting better, and it's making maybe. AI a little bit easier. It's making it easier yeah, for the AI to. We're, we're definitely hitting edit that, where, that clip. Yeah, we're hitting that hundred mile mark. Well, that clip. Do you feel like we're 100 episodes deep? We're about to be 100 episodes deep. Yeah. I mean, with the amount of, like, bonus episodes we did, we are, we're sitting around, like, 98 right now. We should probably be, like... But, I mean... Yeah, obviously, we should, we should have, like, we should probably have, like, 200 to 300 episodes right now, but we took a lot eh, of time off. Who cares? I'm just happy that we can say, whenever we make shirts that say, let the freak speak, established, we'll be able to put 2019. Glad. Nice. Before the fucking 20s. Very little following. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'll little, own one of those shirts. Little to none. Yeah, what's crazy, little to none. What's crazy is, like, there are some episodes mm-hmm. on at the beginning of, like, the show that are on YouTube that probably have no views. Yeah. Yeah. I still see those. <laughs> so funny. I try to, like, listen to them, and I'm like, hmm, could be better. Yeah, of course. Like, yeah. remember whenever we didn't have the Man, audio? Those ste- but those steaks were eating good before Dude, the episodes the steaks those, were having. Well, that's the thing. It's like, for like yeah. the first we're couple episodes, I didn't know how to do, I didn't know how to fucking get the audio correct. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And then and I finally figured it out. What's crazy is I, like, after I bought this, I figured out how to make that little fucking, that little red one mm. work perfectly. Okay. Like, we would have been fine. Yeah. But. That one, at least you have I it. I still have it, Yeah. yeah. Okay, so okay, took some mushrooms. To, you, okay, you took mushrooms when you took were camping. Took some mushrooms on Saturday. Daniel I was there for Tanya, three Daniel days. Daniel and Tanya were like, Nikki, what are you doing? Don't you got a podcast to go back to? Uh, and you're like, shut up. I go into reality. My, my cousins had them. and yeah. um, Say their names, was doing, address, what nah, they look I like. I won't say which cousins. But the like feds are one listening. cousin was uh, kind of just like giving not his A game. He what do you all, mean? Oh, he, he was he, being weirdo. No, no, it's not that he was being a weirdo. He was getting Why do we always say they're being a weirdo when, like, they kind of are, huh? When you're just, like, by yourself in a room and, like, I it's mean, not even, he's in, not in a room. He's in a tent just, like, being fucking, alone. Being alone. I mean, and laying down. whenever you were younger, were you in your room by yourself a lot? Yeah. And people, they, they thought, oh, like, oh, Nick, what's wrong with Nick? He's a loner. No. He's a little weirdo. Uh, really? That's what they would say? I don't know. Oh, okay. That's how I felt like whenever I was just like, <laughs> eat, like the the whole whole ho- like whole families at the yeah. house. You're but I'm in my room because yeah. I don't want to be around anyone. Oh, shit. I think that's just socially awkward. Yeah, and, see, I and wasn't, psychedelics can definitely. I wasn't really do like that. that. We weren't really like that. No, you got forced to be out. Yeah, we. Yeah. We get to. the fuck out of your room, Nikki, before I shoot you. Be like pistol. Oh my <laughs> god. Um, <laughs> so that back that in happened the, back in the day. Your, your dad just pulls out his. He, Shows you his pistol. He's a fucking pistol with you. He was having such a bad time that um, he thought the weekend was over. What like, he the wasted the whole weekend because of his, how he felt on his, like, little, like, oh. three grams, you know? Like, after he came down, he felt like... Yeah. He was just... Like, like he like he wasted a whole weekend. It was just that day. We still had two more days. What do you think was going through his head? <laughs> I don't know. We asked him. He said he was looping. Ah. Uh. Yeah. And I was just He's like, crazy. no, he was thinking too hard, probably about his life or something. He's like, if I don't get this football scholarship, I'm <laughs> <Yeah>. fucked. <laughs> I say that because I'm pretty sure it's one of his cousins that plays fucking I, I agree, though. I agree. Yeah. We were making fun of him afterwards. And we were like yeah, laughing. I, I mean, we were, psychedelic, just, psychedelics hit hard for people that got a little bit more on the line. So there, me, Nick. David, and Andrew, we were just laughing. Yeah. Um, and then Ken, Ken Ty. He didn't have anything to fucking <laughs> lose on the line. There's nothing to lose on the line. Dude, he's like, if I don't pass my classes, <laughs> he's like, I'm never going to make it out of La Jolla. <laughs> <laughs> there's, he's there's, like, I'm going to end up in Bakersfield. <laughs> <laughs> there was nothing on the line, bro. Nothing on the line. So, hey, we were, so you're on psychedelics, bro. We're having a good time. We were just landlocked. What is the line? Landlocked? Yeah. Landlubbers? Just sitting there really hot, just kind of trying to enjoy the trip. Like, honestly, for how for good, how For how much for you were frying, your balls were really sick. <laughs> yeah, dude. So hot. I was frying in so two ways. Hot. I w- like... I felt like the trip was like really nice and it was really mellow. Was the heat getting to you but all on no, your trip? No, it wasn't getting to me. It was just uncomfortable, but not too, but not so, but it wasn't unbearable. I was, uh, well, so we're like, you know how like sometimes when you're really like during the summertime, whenever we'd be out and then yeah. we'd smoke and then for some yeah. reason smoking would just cool you down. Yeah. yeah. Was that happening yeah, to you? So, all? Well, okay. well, actually, we weren't smoking a lot. The mushrooms were just kicking your ass. The, the mushrooms were kind of kicking our ass. I hate that. So we were, <laughs> so all three of us were just hanging out, having a good time yeah. with each other. Everyone was just kind of like doing their own thing, you know, talking. And then uh-huh. like my cousin just there, we're laughing about him. He says he can hear us, <laughs> but he doesn't want to get up, <laughs> which I feel a little bad about. Well, you got you to gotta think, man. You're like, you guys are probably talking like he's not there, but there's literally just a fucking sheet. We, <laughs> that, that is the wall. We're uh, we're calling him a name that he isn't. Not like a profanity or You're anything. You're a puto boy. <laughs> like, oh, little puto boy. <laughs> and he's just like, 
Maybe I'm fucking poot though, boy. <laughs> it's like, man, I'm finally get the scholarship. I'm really gonna be fucking poot though, boy. So that was really fun. It came down. <laughs> He's like, shit, dog. Then my I'm other, for class. and then my other cousin came down. And he um, really came down. The one that I lived with in Monterey. Okay. And uh, good old just Garfield, for, your just cousin Garfield. Night. And um, he took some mushrooms and then I took some more. And he stayed in the and car. He, he stayed up, stayed in the car. Stayed up, player. After <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well, I was like, he's like, all right, I'm going to go sleep. Stay up, player. Honestly, I was exhausted by all these nights of like, even uh, b- the whole time I'm drinking too. Yeah, yeah. And by drinking, I mean like I get to like five beers and I'm just like, I think I'm it's done like, drinking. All right, I yeah. should probably stop yeah. for now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when you take your little nap and yeah. you get up and you're like, oh time boy, to- beer time. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy, 3 a.m. They had beer the whole time. A lot of, a lot of cans. A lot of cans. Yeah, yeah. You're talking food. You're talking food. as if like you, well, not as if, uh, you know, this is going, you're going, like this is going Camping with fam- you, some of your family that's got mm-hmm. money. Yeah, of course they're not going to run out of beer. It's not like well, not just it's like, not like everyone. Hey, I'm I don't like I'm excited for this trip, but financially, I don't know, man. I don't know if I should have did this trip. The the collectiveness of like this much beer throughout the whole trip, I can I have never drank so much in my life. So that's that's and gone continually drinking for this amount of time in my see, life. See, and that's the difference when whenever you get older, uh-huh. you know, every like. Whenever you go to events like yes. like gatherings like this, yes. it's like everybody brings enough beer to share. Yeah. But everybody brings enough beer to share. Yeah. Therefore, there's gonna be such a fucking giant quantity of excess. Uh-huh. <laughs> Dude, that's how like whenever we went up to Prescott, you know, at the end of the trip, it was like, Who's taking the cooler? Yeah. It's like who's gonna take the cooler? I don't want I was like, I don't want any of that shit. Yeah. It's just like yeah. cooler lights. Someone, someone, <laughs> like, yeah, at the end of that trip, my little my little brother was just like Drinking our beers because it was just what was left. <laughs> drinking a fucking seltzer. It was just like, it was just like, no, literally. It was like, it's what, it's what's left to drink. It, it got to like the last night, and you know, everyone's finishing up the food. You know, it's like one o'clock. I woke up from a nap because like my cousin wanted to smoke, and like, you know, there was like no water, no cold waters, there was no sodas, and they were just like, there's, I was just like, well, what's in the corner? They're like, only beer. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> they're like, and I don't want any of that. And I was just like, fuck, right? That's so true. Yeah. How how did they get so much of it? Like I said, dude, how many people were there? Honestly, I was mostly drinking David's how, stuff. How many heads were in your camp camp site? Like, like rough estimate. Sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah. Okay. Think about sixteen people bringing a thirty pack yeah. each. Yeah. A That's lot. a lot of fucking alcohol. A lot of beer. Yeah. It's like over 200 beers. You getting fucked up. You getting fucked up. Yeah, yeah, time. yeah. Dude, man, for Beating beer multi- pong. For multiple Playing days. games. Camping hard. I wasn't that uncomfortable camping, though. There's a whole section that you're like leaving out where what? you snuck behind the big trees and we're just like touching yourself. <laughs> oh, my God. And you're like, man, these mushrooms are making me horny. <laughs> I got to go Why for a while. Why am I so horny around my family? <laughs> oh, my God. It's not, it's not that they're turning me on. It's just... I'm so I, horny. I, I'm just so horny, but it's weird. It's weird being this horny in proximity to my family. No, oh my God, nah, not like that, dude. I don't get horny like that while mushrooms. Dude, you were like intergalactic, you, <laughs> dude. No music, pretty much. Though, well, music, okay, music, but like just so the same songs, oh. dude. Just like who, who was no, DJ? There was no real DJ. Like everyone just like. No they, one really they, prepared that. They hit play on a playlist yeah. and then it just kept repeating. Yes, it was like, like you were hanging out with Ralph. It was like I was hanging, be, and David was one of the people with music. I had music for a first night, but like, you're like, this is killing my phone battery. Yeah, I don't want to. No, play no, this. no. That I didn't need to use my phone. It's just like I don't have really any hype music. Like the songs I like are pretty mellow and yeah, stoner or, or, and sad. Or, or, yep, that's and me. I like I like music like that, you know. And like yeah. I got some hits like Return of the Mac, but <laughs> <laughs> I can't have I can't have Return of the Mac. On repeat. How many times did you hear that song though this week? Dude, <laughs> everyone had that song on their of playlist. Of course. Because <laughs> like, it's one of the greats. Dude, it's so good. You can really tell what decade you're from whenever you Dude, play Return of the Mac and how you react to it. It's a banger. You're just like, this reminds me of being a little kid. They're like, this reminds you. Uh, <laughs> even how it starts off. Just screaming, I'm on it. Right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> when I try to make it. <laughs> oh. Um, so that was a kind of a little letdown. So kind of the same songs. David was a DJ. Um, they had this little like thing, a lot of jaw roll on it on this USB. Um, Tessa, 
so yeah, just limited amount. Cardi B, Sublime. <laughs> yeah, no Sublime. It People was, wanted Sublime. It was all no sublime. sublime with Rome, dude. <laughs> that pissed. Yeah, pissed. <laughs> Someone tells you they're a Sublime fan, and then they put uh, on a Sublime with Rome I song. Um, <laughs> by the end of it, I was glad to be home. Yeah, I mean, tired. Al- a little always. a sad thing. At happened. least you didn't have to drive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't. I mean, honor. In honor, your, 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 your family member. Yeah. In honor, I'll just mention that that like. But don't bum out the audience. I'm not gonna bum out anyone, but okay. In my honor, I'd mention that because that's not something you should just. Let's talk. You know about. that was part of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But did, well, did that? Know. Did that happen? Like on your way home, like while you were out there. No, that's happened. Like, we were just we just set up this. Uh, so they have this washer game where okay. it's this washer, and then you try to make it into this small hole, fifteen okay. feet, fifteen yeah. feet apart, kind of like um. It's like a cornhole. Yeah. Um, and we were setting up for this tournament. It's like nine o'clock or ten or something. Everyone's waking up. It's like the first day, second day. No, this is the third day. Okay. No, the day before we leave. Yeah, I think the okay. day before we leave. And you know, we're just there. We're waiting for everyone just to like get ready and stuff. And then we, um, you know, so they come and there was a important message from the front office. They got a hold of our family. Oh shit! And then um, we went over there, and then they came back and told us the news. Damn. And then we kind of just because he 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 was supposed to be there too. So okay. It was a it was a big thing. About Damn. It, you know, that know, sucks. You know, um, but overall, everyone shared a gr- great experience together. Family was all together. I mean, um, it was probably probably good that you were with your family whenever you found out that yeah. news too. Yeah. No, we were all grateful to be around each other. It was exactly. just like, it's like, well, we, you know, there's that thing. Well, we could all leave now. Yeah. You know, and just you know deal with it, but like, you know, or we could just deal with it together. Do it. Deal with it together, and then tomorrow we'll leave because we are gonna leave. Yeah. So that w- they decided on that, and it was a good time for the rest of the day, and we try to make it as best as we can. A lot of fun. toasts, I bet. Mhm. Mhm. Um. So, yeah, f- it was a good trip. It was nice. Family was there, long for us, but like only like two hours for them. Yeah. Yeah. They're like, we just gotta go back to River. <laughs> 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 Fuck. Fuck yeah! They had McDonald's that morning. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. had weed the whole time because uh, I got this half ounce from work. Would you just bring weed into California? Yeah, I just brought it. Apparently, that's super illegal. Yeah, yeah, we passed by the border and everything. They left through. Yeah, <laughs> Every- and I had my grinder and everything. So, like, I'm just happy that we made it through. Yeah, yeah. See, I I always like. I know I shouldn't have, but like I, yeah, I just I crossing, didn't want not crossing have. state lines with weed. It's yeah. like it doesn't seem like it should be illegal, no, right? Like it doesn't like, feel like, especially it. because you know it's legal in fucking Arizona, it's legal yeah. in California, it's yeah. legal in New Mexico, Colorado. We yeah. shouldn't have any problems carrying our weed. Yeah, across state lines. across state lines. Yeah, exactly. I feel that. I just think they're still just worried about the more drugs and the financing of drugs. Yeah, yeah, and pushing mm. pushing drugs from which other is like it's silly, but. You know, because I mean, people like, are still doing because, it. Because I needed weed. I wanted weed. No, I feel you. Like, that's <sighs> I'm glad we had weed the whole time. You guys didn't. You guys didn't go to like stop anywhere for some Cali bud. No, we didn't. We we literally drove to the camp spot and just nonstop. Yeah, and then left from the camp spot. So like that was our our time. Okay, you guys didn't even bother to look if there was any dispensaries in the area. On no, the, on no. the way there. No, well, yeah, of course, like through like those like, f- like we went through the back way, like where the dunes are, and you guys like, took the eight. We saw that center of the world, you know. Um, yeah, you guys just took, took eight. You guys took the eight. Yeah, yeah through yeah. Yuma. It's crazy. Yes, H- have you exactly. N- have you n- never gone that way? Twice. Really? That's my. That was my second time. That is there. the way I go. Really? Whenever I go to California. Really? Yeah, because I only go to San Diego though. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah, no, we are. So it just makes more sense. We always go through the. Yeah, because the you. five? Yeah, yeah, I think you Or is it the 101? I think the 101. I, I think it becomes Interstate 5. Yeah, it becomes. It's like both. Well, the, the 101 is like. That's more high. That's more freeway. Oh, but okay. Oh, okay. So it'll be. It's the five. It's the five. It, it okay. because, because it becomes an interstate. Yeah, usually that one. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I never go that way. 
The only time I've ever done it was whenever we went to San Francisco. You must crazy going through. Really? That it, desert's wild. That desert. Yeah, so you guys pass through like El Centro. And, yeah, uh, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dude. Fucking Gila Bend See, and all but that shit. I, honestly, at the same time, my family would go through that way a lot too. When we would go dude, to California. I, dude, that's like... It was like I said though, you know, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to like LA or anything. Yeah. So going through makes more sense because yeah. then you hit Alpine and all mm-hmm. that shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There used to be, whenever we first started going to record in California, there was this one uh, dispensary that we'd stop at Yeah, every time. And then I remember whenever, like we went two for two separate times to record the Real American mm-hmm. Zero. And then on the third time, whenever I went to go record vocals by myself, it was me and Amara. And I went to go to that dispensary. It was closed. Yeah. And then I was like driving around looking for a dispensary. Like, fuck. And I, I go to this dispensary and this. Uh, Cheaters I, I, only. I looked up this dispensary. And uh, then. Stizzy. I get there and it's closed. It's like it's shut down. And it's some, closed. Some, guy is just, some guy hands me a thing. He's like, they're at this place now. It's like a, uh, a card. Ooh. So I go to that place and stuff. And He's like, yeah, this place become a laser tag. And then this uh, this lady's just like, this. Uh, I'm buying, the, we- I'm buying the weed. And she's just like, yeah, there's this really good chicken place that just opened. This new chicken chain. Uh, it was Cane's. Ooh. It's like, yeah, there's this new place in town. Well, at least she liked it. She was all telling you her opinion. I was like, dude, Cane's. wanted to share that. I was like, Cane's isn't new. Oh, you're just being mean to an old no, lady. No, I wasn't. Yeah. She wasn't even you an old lady. Her. What do you mean? She was a dispensary uh, oh, fucking, oh, but she was a bud tender. Oh, so she was a young girl. So, I, so you. I shouldn't have respected her. Oh, shit. <laughs> you respect a lot of people. Uh, yeah, I tip bud tenders even though I do online orders. Can I, can I hold you? Okay. All right. Okay. One thing I want... Uh, so I was uh I was driving over here and yeah. I saw a truck that looked like uh, one of my former like high school friends trucks that he used to drive in high school. Yeah. And I was thinking about it. I was like, what if I just drove up like and I caught it like I drove and caught up to that vehicle? Let me lay a scenario down in your head for you. Can <laughs> you imagine it was him and it turned out to be him? No. Uh, check this out. You get into your car. Where is the lad into? Or no, you're walking to your car and you see that someone has like opened your car door and like they're taking off of something that they took out of your car. Yeah. You get in your car and you chase them down. And as you're catching up to that car, you start to really, you're like, oh, this vehicle looks very familiar and stuff. You pull up right next to them at the stoplight and it's you and your friends from when you're younger. And you're like, whoa, this is a moment that I, I remember stealing from this one car back in the day. And then your whole life becomes a loop. Because whenever you see your younger self, you blow up. What? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No. <laughs> Did you just back to the future me? No. What I'm saying is, what if you, like, what if there was an incident that happened and you ran into yourself? Yeah. A younger version of yourself. Yeah. And you, as your younger self, yeah. don't realize that you are you. Yeah. Because you, I mean, you look the same. Yeah. But. Yeah. You know, maybe it's like five. Maybe it's. You're 55. Okay. You made it to 55. Congratulations. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. You're walking out of Walmart. You're still mm-hmm. shopping at Walmart. Yes. Tells you he's not really doing good financially. Okay. Still shopping at Walmart. Still like barely. You'll be <laughs> shopping at Walmart. I love Walmart. I'm going to be one of those people. Honestly, no. I'm a Safeway person. D- different, different, totally different things. What do you Walmart mean? Walmart is a department store. Uh-huh. Safeway is a grocery store. Okay. I didn't diff- know that. There's a difference. Yeah. yeah. Th- well, that's why you can buy t-shirts and oil at Walmart. But I've seen t-shirts. And, and actually, uh, actually, let Safeway. me let me tell you this. I've seen t-shirts. Let me tell Safeway. you this. Walmart's actually not a department store anymore. Okay. Walmart was how they transcended department stores. There's a there's a really good podcast about the history of Walmart, and the guy that founded Walmart mm-hmm. actually just used to be a guy who was. Um, Everyone has a podcast, right? Everybody has a podcast, huh? <laughs> <laughs> but none of them can suck like this one. Uh-huh, that's true. We're putting it out there in the world. Mm-hmm. Nick will suck you off if you subscribe <laughs> to this podcast. Even if you got pepperoni clit. That doesn't make sense. Pepperoni clit? Damn, that's big. It's just a fat... <laughs> it's a fat, Spear. flat clit. Oof. Round. Oof. Should we go get a drink after this? This makes me want to drink. Like, what kind of drink? A slippery nipple. 
Don't know what that is. I just heard it on like The Sopranos. Yeah, it makes me want a fuzzy navel. <laughs> fuzzy navel. What's up with all these fucking <laughs> sexual uh, drinks? Sex on the beach makes me want a blowjob butt fuck. Isn't there a blowjob? <laughs> yeah, it's, there's a there's a blowjob. Uh, what if I ordered you two of those? Two blowjobs. Uh-huh. And one of them's not a drink. <laughs> 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 uh. Uh, what are some other? The buffa- co- okay, after just, okay, just okay, wait, 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 wait. This, the, the, this, uh, <laughs> this scenario. Okay, you just got off of work. You and the boys. You guys are going to the bar. Oh, okay, I'm at the uh, Ore House in uh, Oracle. You're at the Ore House. I'm at a. Uh, you get uh, two. You get Hilltop you, Tavern. You get you get four blowjobs. You you get two. And you get two. And, and, two, and Tyler yeah, gets two. Hey, check this out. And you look over, and it's me. Hey, look at this. Are you are you happy? It's my younger self. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Are you happy to no, see me? Hey, check this out. Okay. I got a riddle for you. Do you drink them? You drink them. Hey. Okay. Come on. I walk into, you walk into a bar. You're ignoring me. You have four you have four blowjobs. Okay. But you haven't had a thing to drink. How is that how is that possible? <laughs> <laughs> and there's only men in the bar. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What happened? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nick got beat up. They held him down and took turns oh. blowing him. Oh my god. People don't do you do think that, you'd dude. be able to? Do you think you'd be able to come from what? If like you were at a bar and just a bunch of oh dude, <laughs> no no that would a bunch of dudes hold you down and start filleting you dude that wouldn't make you come that, that wouldn't but make they're you not come. gonna stop until you come dude that's crazy <laughs> they even tell you too it's like we're not gonna stop stopping <laughs> you until you come <laughs> and these big biker guys with beards dude, no dude that wouldn't make it that couldn't. Right, and then one of them starts reciting, uh, starts reading to you out loud a section from Hell's Angels. Holy shit! The, the part where they're at La Honda. Okay, would this make you come? I mean, I'd be like, "Come on, guys, play with the ball, <laughs> <laughs> dude. Get in there, get, get in there, Stanley." So I, d- I think there, there's some questions that shouldn't be answered. Right? <laughs> Probably. Oh, you four bikers fully <laughs> until you come. That's crazy. <laughs> Will they make you come? Who knows? Find out on the next episode of Biker Makes You Come. It's of Biker Bars. <laughs> <laughs> biker Bars of America. You walk into the bar. And you're just like, all right, guys. So the whole point of the show is you guys have to hold me down and blow me until I come. How do you? <laughs> how do I? How do we present this question? You're, to you're like pitching every. It, you're, you're pitching it to bikers at yeah, a bar. Dude, you're yeah. just like, all right, guys. So yeah. you guys hold me down and blow me until I come. Can you make? Me Are come? you guys in? Because I don't think you can make me come. I don't think you biker. I don't think your biker. I don't think your biker gang has the balls to make me come. <laughs> Dude, I don't think they do. Yeah, I think they would just beat you up. <laughs> <laughs> They'd probably like send one of their mamas to try and receive you, re- retrieve your seed. That'd be dope. Yeah, but it's like it's it's how the, many it's mamas? The, it's the head mama. How many biker mamas do you think you can bang in a night? One, maybe one. Oh, yeah, maybe, huh? She pulls my pants down, and there's already pre cum. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm just like, my work here is done. <laughs> oh. You're like, still going. It's, it's okay. Just lick it off. <laughs> she sends in Rusty to come do it. Who's <laughs> oh, <it was> Rusty? <laughs> that's her, that's her papa. Oh, my God. Rest, Rusty's been feeling a little different after <laughs> messing with Ken Casey and those psychedelics. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I used to be 100% straight. Then I took acid. <laughs> what does that mean? Means my mind's all over the place. Now. You're a one mama type of guy, huh? Yeah, I'm a. Please get away from me, lady. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't go to Stanford. You're a uh, you're you're biker mama mom, and you're just trying to go to Harvard. <laughs> She's dropping me off on her yeah, bike. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All you know is that <laughs> she's just waiting for me outside, like on the sidewalk, just smoking cigarettes. You think it's complete? Isn't that like that, fucking? Isn't wait, wait? Isn't that um the mask? Is that the mask? Yeah, is that the mask where shares like part of a biker gang? Like shares in that movie? Yeah, shares in the movie. Shares in the mask. Yeah, I have not. Do you mean Cameron Diaz? No, share shares in it. Do you believe in life after love? What do you mean? Share. Yes. The singer. Yes. What do you mean? Do you believe in life after love? 
Do you believe? Oh, that's yeah, her. That, that's Dude, that song's a banger. Of course it is. Damn, you we're know, sunny you know, in Cher, that. We're know, sunny in that. You know, Cher was one of the first uh, musical acts to use auto tune in a recording. She's a pioneer. What can they say? <laughs> She's a pioneer woman. Pioneer woman's a brand. I don't know if you know. Really? That. Yeah. It's a, is it good? It's a. It's like a cooking pro. It's. Uh, Sexist much, you know, pioneer woman. Not really. There's some really good cooking wear. And to give women the clarification that they're superior in the kitchen, I think that's quite the, you know. Oh, tell that to Emerald Lagasse. <laughs> Who's that? Bam! <laughs> oh, shit. And Gordon Ramsay. Yeah, he's just a dick, though. Nah, I hear Gordon Ramsay. Actually, I think a lot of cooks don't appreciate women. In the Isn't that what Ratatouille is about? What? Like, isn't it a curse? <laughs> Doesn't she say it's a curse for women to be in the kitchen? Yeah, when yeah, it's like I a bad know. omen or something. I don't. Yeah. Does she say that? Yeah, yeah, like the French woman. Fuck the French. First off, okay. Any of our listeners in France, mm-hmm. send us hate mail. I I work with one. You work with she's, a French? Yeah, she's a descendant but of is French she, is culture. She French, is she yes. French or French Canadian? No, she's actual French. Ah, yes. Je ne sais où ça papa. Je ne sais où ça papa. Il est incompétent. Il est incompétent. Yeah, lazy and incompetent. Fat motherfucker. Nah, uh, one of my favorite my favorite writer is let's uh, make French a, Canadian. Let's make France obese. Let's make French fat. Let's make French fat. Let's make the French fat. Yeah, yeah right, dude. Yeah, let's they're, do they're it. Fucking smoking. Be- they're smoking their cigarettes right now and being like, "I'm gonna go throw up my, <laughs> my little croissant that I had." It's probably good. Oh, I hear you love I, croissants. I, I do, and I hear their French croissants are amazing. There are things about the French that I like. They, there are things from the French that I like. F- cuisine wise, you can like the French, but history wise, don't like the French. No, no, I can like French. Due to history, I can like don't French like the French culture, but I don't have to respect. No, don't French don't like their culture, dude. No, they were once a superpower, though. They were very strong. No, armies. of course, dude. Yeah. Napoleon. The, the French were fighting to claim yeah. America. Yeah. And the British. And good said, thing they just sold it for 16 bucks, Louisiana yeah. purchase. All right. Love that chicken for Popeye. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Louisiana. Why, yeah, Louisiana. Fast. Literally, why we got Louisiana for chicken. Popeyes. Popeyes. Because of the French giving us Louisiana. No, you know. Uh, purchase. Yeah. Yeah. The, because the French were in it for the, the, the fur. The, it's it's cool that no one else owned after the Louisiana purchase because yeah. they were just like, well, who, well dude, that, fucking, that, it's unknown territory, but they were willing to kill the you know, the natives, which was yeah, an unknown yeah. territory. Yeah. Oh, they didn't build houses here. <laughs> what kind of houses it, did they want, dude? It, what did they? What, what, what did you think they wanted to see that? They really did, huh? They Ooh. really wanted to see like uh, they wanted like, to a, see like a plane of just like houses, yeah, or just like some type of civilization, not yeah. not the kinds that they is nomadic. Yeah, mm-hmm. but then you know they came across. I mean the the well, well uh, the Americas conquistadors ha- came across the Aztecs and the but or was the Aztecs or the Mayans who had their actual civilization. But they also said that the the way that the Americas was the harsh environment was like pretty. Un- uninhabitable in the ways yeah. that they would have to be that way because of like storms, tornadoes, yeah. hurricanes, F- um, wildfires, wildfires. That's like, the thing. It's like wildfires, like nature was, we, we do so much to, to stop nature from just being nature. Mm-hmm. Like wildfires, mm-hmm. if man, like not non-made, not like man-made natural. Yes. Fire. Fucking wildfires yes. that happen, like lightning striking yes. a fucking tree. Storms and everything. That happens, but like, you know, that's just, that's a reset of vegetation though, too. Yeah. Like, it's, there's good things and there's bad things from it. Yeah. I was talking to some guy about, um, just like fire stuff. And, um, he was talking about how before col like pre colonization, a lot of Arizona was grasslands. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a trip. Yeah. Dust bowl, baby. Yeah. And then we had a lot of um, cattle go through, and that's why it kind of fucked up the, the biodiversity. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, interesting learning about that shit whenever you find out, like, trees that have been, like, you, that you grew up around these trees, and you find out that those trees don't, those, they don't belong here at mm-hmm. all. Mm-hmm. Like, whoa. It's like, yeah, uh, 
we planted a lot of invasive species, you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Just, that uh, got through Arizona. Yeah, yeah. And, like, there's there's a lot of like weeds that are going around right now mm-hmm. that are invasive, and we need um more saguaros. Dude, I was uh taking that. I I was riding from Samuel through Reddington into Menson. Yeah. That is such a nice drive because, dude, you're seeing saguaros that have, like, fucking 10 or 20, like, 10 to 15 arms. That's crazy. Big fucking I know thing. what you're talking about, yeah. too. Yeah. Just fucking, like. Massive ones. Yeah. I mean, go driving through the saguaro national park is nice. Uh-huh. But, I mean, I feel like you can easily see just as many going through Reddington. Yeah. Because this is, like, rivers, like, right by the San Pedro River. So, you're, you're, you're riverside, basically. Yeah. And... This is even more, like, this is undeveloped area for the most part. Like, this is ranch lands, you know. The most development you're going to find is just, like, people who have their ranches out there. Yeah. And, dude, you're coming across old fucking cactuses that have just been alive for decades, bro. Like, at least a thousand years. There's got to be cactuses out there that are, like, a thousand years old. Yeah. No, honestly, not a thousand, but more like 300 Still, Near that's, like, that's like fucking how many people's lifetimes. That's like exactly. how far down someone's lineage. Exactly. Is 300 there's, years. I believe there's a, even if it's just the skeleton Maybe of the cactus, it's still that old in that respect, I would say, mm. because it's just still standing there. How old is America? It would go back to the revolutionary times, I would say as well. Yeah. Like 1700s, I don't doubt that there's probably a cactus. Yeah. That's still that's like, been yeah, going through it. Just living. Mm hmm. Because if you look at the desert and the way the land is with, like, the Sonoran Desert, yeah. it looks prehistoric. Like, the untouched land of it, like, if you look out in that distance, it looks like oh, yeah. nothing. Just like some of like people those just mountain have, structures and stuff. Yeah, and people just, just only walk through there. Like, yeah. there's nothing to inhabit there because of how hard it is over there. So, it's just yeah. animals just and insects. Harsh environment, yeah. So, I... I I think some of that just like looks like it's just dated back to right very and, long and time it's ago. Just like the redwoods also made me feel like that. It's cool to to see pieces of land that have just n- been like untouched for mm-hmm. their whole yeah period of time. Mm-hmm. I feel like we we get a little bit like we're a little bit more lucky with that because yes, we didn't definitely. grow up in big cities and you yeah. know for the most part the, like the whole fucking area around us has n- was well, never developed. Well, those uh, mountains by um what you lived uh Salmon Wild, those mm. mountains are old. That's all old. Oh, that that yeah. hasn't changed in millions of years. That's so old. How do you guys have that fucking view of something that old in front of your face? And it's so pretty because they've done their best to not let anybody like they they want to yeah. keep the fucking nature there. Yeah. They definitely. know that like that's the thing. It's like the Galeros fucking the White Mountains. Oh, that's not even the, that's not even the White Mountains. Mm-hmm. That's just the Galeros. Yeah. You know, that's all hunting area. Yeah. It's just camping area. Mm-hmm. People go out there for that. You know, that's they use that land for what it is. Yeah. Just land to yeah. be used for nature. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Definitely. It's not like, hey, let's go develop this. Mm-hmm. So pretty to look at and how open it is as soon as you start looking at it with the sunset. It's just like, damn, nothing's out there. Literally. Yeah. It's just, what's cool is like during, like as it starts to cool down and like you're driving home at night and you can see the fires up in the mountains, how many Mm -hmm. people are up there just camping. Yeah. Fucking so cool. It's like, man, I'm glad that I get, like I could be around that, like versus growing up in a city. Like even, like I'm just glad that I can look out and see mountains Mm -hmm. versus just like looking out and just seeing sky because there's nothing but just land yeah that california view till the end yeah Yeah. like yeah kind of like whenever you're looking out at the ocean how you know it just there's just a point where land meets like sky meets fucking ground Mm -hmm. that's i i feel like that's how it is a lot on like some east coast places and like midwestern you know Mm -hmm. it's just like a lot of Grassland and stuff like that. Yeah. It's a trip. Contemplation. <laughs> Deep contemplation. Well, thank you, everyone, for another episode of Let the Freak Speak. It's been fun. We're taking the counterculture to new lows, winging it harder than ever. Morons of Asserty, Masters of, of Obscurity, everyone's least favorite podcast. 
Thanks for listening. Make sure you uh, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Tell us how good we're getting. Tell us how big Nick's getting. He's working out. He's trying to become the next fucking Trevor Paul. Um, that's not a person. <laughs> uh, yeah, like, subscribe, do all that stuff. Thanks for listening. We're out of here. Thank you. Let the freaks speak! <laughs>